The locals in many countries consume foods that we find to be bizarre, but China has one of the largest varieties of food in the world. There's even a saying in China, we eat everything with legs except chairs and tables. <laughs> and that's probably not far from the truth. Let me share with you the 10 most unusual foods that only exist in China. Welcome to Upside, where we have fun facts for curious minds. To enjoy more of these videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Did you know that crocodile is believed to cure cuffs and prevent cancer? It is available steamed, braised, or stewed. There is even a seafood restaurant in Guangzhou where crocodiles with their jaws taped shut roam the restaurant's floor. A manager at the restaurant told National Geographic that people don't care about the cost, they just care about their health. More of these bizarre foods in China on this list. And Upsiders, I hope your tummy can handle this list, especially Upside's top pick. Don't say I didn't warn you. Coming in at number 10, Stinky Tofu. Stinky Tofu or strong smelling preserved tofu is really smelly with an ugly appearance. And it is said that the smell of the popular street food can be spotted from a block away. Well, maybe even further. However, once you have tried it, you will enjoy its taste. The traditional dish is tofu fermented in a mixture of milk and a vegetable, meat and fish-based brine, or a combination of these ingredients. It is usually deep fried in vegetable oil and served with chili and soy sauce and served in small squares, skewered together and served on a plate. It can also be found steamed, stewed or served in a soup. Biting into stinky tofu feels like biting into a piece of soft cheese and tastes best when served with sauce or toppings. Want to know where to find it? Eat it? Well, Upsiders, our only advice is just follow your nose. Moving on at number 9. Sheep Penis If you're looking to boost libido, the Chinese have a bizarre food that may help. Sheep Penis, along with other animal penises and testicles are served as a remedy for the problem. They even have a famous restaurant serving these kinds of delicacies. Hard to imagine? I'd say yes. The locals enjoy the flavor of the dish, with the most popular being sheep gonads on a bed of curry and steamed sheep penis. They believe that it is good for one's health, hence many of the customers at the restaurant are males looking to increase potency and sexual prowess. They are convinced that they can replenish parts of their bodies by eating dishes with those same body parts. And at number 8, Chicken Testicles Still on the idea that Chinese have this bizarre concept of recharging their sexual prowess by eating animal penises and testicles? Oh, that is so cute. These juicy delicacies are said to increase potency and even improve a woman's skin tone. They are available in both pink and black, and their size ranges anywhere from 1 to 2 inches long. Their casings contain flesh, making them like little sausages. They are lightly cooked to keep them tender, and juice will ooze into your mouth as you take the first bite. After boiling or frying the chicken testicles, they offer a mild flavor and are best served with rice, noodles, or even both. Who needs skin cream or Viagra if you can eat these? Moving on at number 7, Bird's Nest Soup. One of the most controversial bizarre foods the Chinese eat is Bird's Nest Soup. This famous soup is made from a swiplet's actual nest. This small bird is found in Southeast Asia and lives in dark caves like a bat. Their nests are made from their own gummy saliva produced by the glands under their tongue. The nest of the saliva hardens as it is exposed to the air. The common way to cook bird's nest soup is slowly steaming it after soaking it in water. The texture of the nest is soft like jelly, but it doesn't have much taste. The taste is not what keeps locals coming back each day for this soup, but it is the benefits that attract the Chinese. If the soup is consumed regularly, it is believed to help maintain youth and promote a healthy life and strong body. So, who wants a bowl? At number 6, Scorpions those looking for something crazy to snack on while walking the streets of China may find scorpions to be a tasty treat. These small scorpions are fried and served on a skewer. They can be found in the streets of popular cities to lure tourists into trying something local and bizarre. 
since the scorpions are thin, they turn out crispy with a nice seasoning. It is believed that eating scorpions can cure certain medical conditions and can make the blood hotter in cold climates. At number 5. Snake Soup Snake soup is a delicacy that contains as many as five different types of snake meat. Snake soup originated in southern China, known in the olden days as a luxury dish enjoyed by the wealthy. It became widespread across China in the 1700s. Boiled with ingredients such as pork bones, chicken, and spices. This thick, flavorful soup is especially popular in Hong Kong during the winter months. Made from snake meat and bones and simmered for several hours, the broth is infused with other ingredients like chicken, mushrooms, chopped ginger, chrysanthemum leaves, lemongrass, and other herbs and spices for a flavorful broth that is both sweet and somewhat spicy. The snake meat is shredded into thin slivers and when cooked, looks and tastes similar to chicken. Although it is a bit tougher, it is believed that this delicacy is also a medicinal supplement. In Chinese medicine, snake meat is known as a yang food or a food that brings heat to the body. Thus, snake soup is most often consumed in the colder months to counteract the yin of winter. It's known to cure ailments such as arthritis and it is said to be good for circulation and the skin. At number 4. Wormwood Dumplings Dumplings are a classic Asian dish you can find in any Chinese restaurant. But we're yet to find wormwood dumplings outside of China. To Hakka people in China, Iban or dumplings made from wormwood and rice are a festival must-eat made by blending wormwood paste and glutinous rice powder together. They also feature peanuts and black-eyed beans for a more diversified flavor. Wormwood has endless health benefits and has actually been used against malaria in China. Legends say it will dispel disease and evil spirits and protects peace. Sounds like something worth trying. At number 3. Turtle Shell Jelly Turtle jelly or tortoise jelly also known as gulingao is a Chinese jelly-like dessert. It is traditionally made from various types of turtle's bottom shell and several herbal products. Most turtle jelly comes from commonly available turtle species to keep the price down, but some extremely expensive options are available and are made using ingredients from the golden coin turtle. It is usually dark brown or black in color and slightly bitter, but many sweeteners can be added to improve taste. This delicacy is also used for its medicinal purposes in China. It is said to be able to improve circulation, assist muscle growth, and restore kidney functions. Many believe that regular consumption of turtle jelly can improve skin by giving it a healthier complexion. At number 2. Fried Seahorse A seahorse is one of the cutest small marine fish found in the sea, but it is also found on China's streets as a snack. Seahorse has a squid-like consistency and is very salty. They are mostly found in soups or on kebabs and found at several street markets. You must be careful when consuming seahorse dough because they have sharp pieces that can get caught in your gums or teeth. The Chinese believe there are great benefits to eating seahorse. Many locals use it as an ancient Chinese medication for energy and to boost sexual performance. They can be mixed with herbs and boiled as tea to treat asthma and male sexual dysfunction. One Chinese proverb says that eating seahorse can keep an 80-year-old granddad young. And coming in at number 1. Under our current circumstances, it would be remiss to exclude bat soup from this list. Bat soup contains an entire bat placed in a soup bowl after boiling with chicken broth. The bat is dissected with a knife and fork and the broth is then eaten with a spoon, along with the innards of the creature. Hair is present in the dish along with the membranes of the bat's wings. <sighs> The dish is allegedly rather delicious, but we are forced to conclude that it is very unappetizing to see an entire bat floating in front of us. It is also important to note that bats are also capable of carrying a number of human transmissible diseases, and the practice is considered unsustainable by many conservation organizations. Now, the only question is, would you take the risk in trying one of their unusual foods? Which one do you think is most tasty? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.
And for all you upsiders who want more upside videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you find this video really shocking, I know you'll be interested on watching our video on the deadliest river monsters hiding in the Amazon. See you next time.